don't just send email. Send it well. Clock apps, essential for email marketing. Hi there, welcome to Glock Apps. Today I'll show you how to set up an automatic email test and monitor your email inbox placement on a regular basis. Various templates and senders can be tested simultaneously. When your inbox rate drops below the desired benchmark, we'll notify you via email or Slack. Automatic tests are perfect for transactional messages and automated flows, such as abandoned cart or account activation, because it's important to ensure that they are delivered to the user's inbox daily. Let's set up an automatic test. Go to Inbox Insight and click Start Spam Test. Start Automatic Test. If you don't have sending account yet, let's add it now. For this, you need to enter your sender information and SMTP server information. Enter name for your account. Enter the email address you want to test. Enter the name for SMTP server, for example, smtpgmail.com for a Gmail account. at the correct port number 587 or 465. The SMTP username is typically the full email address that you use in the from field. And the SMTP password is a password of your account. For some senders such as Google and Office 365, you need to create a password. Select folder for the test and disable the link checker if you don't include links in the email. Type the new header field name and value or skip the email header settings if they don't apply to your case. Choose the spam filters and mailbox providers for the test. Click check and create. If the settings are correct, the sending account will be saved. Now go to the inbox insight and click reports. Go to automatic test and start new test. The system shows the messages you've already tested. You can select one and click next. If the message is not here yet, click add new email, copy the provided email address and send the message that you want to test uh, using your email service provider. Click Done to continue. Wait for a few moments and click Refresh to update the list of templates. Select the message you want to test and click Next. Make sure you selected the right sending account. Now you can change this throttling setting. By default, the system will send the message to all the seed list email addresses at the same time. If your SMTP server applies a rate limit to your account, you can set a delay between uh, email sending. Click Done to save the settings. Select the spam filter and mailbox providers and click Next. By default, automatic test is created in the home folder. You can select a different folder or add a new one by clicking Add New Folder in the menu. Then you can type a note to differentiate tests and disable link checker. Set the testing interval and click Next. Here you can optionally set alerts to be sent if the automatic test result meet particular conditions. Select the channel to receive alerts, set the time to wait before sending the alert, 15 to 20 minutes is the optimal waiting time, and set conditions uh, for the alert. When done, click Save and Activate. 
Click Save and Test now to run the test immediately. Wait a few moments for the report to load. The results are shown in real time, so you don't have to reload the page. During the test, ClockUps runs multiple checks. We run message through Google Spam Filter, Barracuda and Spam Assassin. We show placement with different mailbox providers. If you click the three vertical dots on the right side, you can access the message headers and IP address report. Go up to see the results of sender authentication and sender score. Click on content analysis to see if the links and images used in the email are functioning properly. In the action steps, you can see personalized recommendations triggered on the red flags we found in your report. At the top of the page, there is automatic test history. Click on date to load the report from that date. You can use the calendar to choose the desired history period. Click on email preview to view the email content that was tested. Click on the share button to get the report public link. From the home page, you can change the automatic test settings, such as message content, folder, sending accounts and testing interval. To put a check mark next to the automatic test, you can deactivate it, delete the test or move it to a different folder. That's all I have for today. Thank you for choosing GlowCaps.